All right guys, so I bet you've seen some of these videos before going around the internet or articles about the brutal life truths that no one wants to admit. And in this video, I wanna share what I think are brutal life truths. In other words, they're things that I wish someone would have told me and they're things, honestly, I really, really wanna say to coaching clients, but sometimes they're on the border and the verge of being rude. So I wanna share four or five life truths that I wish I knew and when you realize them, they're gonna make your life a lot better. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book, Master the Day. So the very first brutal life truth is that life is not fair and fairness is a 100% human invention. Like nature has, yeah, like beautiful baby bunnies and like you little pet their little heads, but it also has little baby bunnies and my parents' three cats jump on them and tear their throats out and they're ripping their intestines open and dropping them on my bed when I go back home to visit them in Connecticut. That's also nature. Is that fair that like a little cute baby bunny gets his throat and its eyeballs torn out while it's still alive? No, but this is also reality. And people only like the fluffy skittles and rainbows and unicorns stuff about life. They don't like the other aspect, the darkness. The darkness is the stuff I talk about here because people are afraid of it. No one actually wants to deal with that. There was this funny thread going around Facebook where they were talking about raising minimum wage and this woman commented that, I can't make a living on $25 an hour living in California. And what I, I like, I wanted to reach through the screen and just shake her because I was like, most of my jobs paid me under $15 an hour for most of my 20s. And look, is that fair? I don't know. Like, is it enough to live? No. But fairness is made up. It's a human idea. Animals in nature, they just do what they have to do to survive. So for me, that meant working three jobs in my 20s. I don't want to do that. I didn't want to work my business 30 hours a week on top of a 40 hour a week job for over three years until I could quit. You just do what it takes. And if you have this mindset of I deserve or this is not fair or this is not how it should be, all of these are just resistance and they're the same things that led to me making myself sick. So if you can cultivate the mindset of there is no fairness, there's just do it or you don't do it, you're going to reach your goals much faster. So the second brutal life truth is that your life does not change until you change something you do daily. I love this little affirmation I heard. And it's based on this idea that I hear from people all the time that they're like, you know, I know that when I'm 35, I'm going to be making six figures and have this nice house and be married to this girl or to this guy. But those things don't just happen. Like I shot a whole video on this when you feel like you're 20 or 30 or 40 and you thought you'd be further. You feel like you're almost in someone else's life because it's not unfolded how you thought it would. But the reason why it didn't unfold how you thought it would is not because there's something wrong with you or it's your destiny or it's your karma. It's because you didn't think and reflect on what am I doing today and is it aligned with where I want to be in six months or five years. So when you can bring it back to the daily rituals linked to I want to be married to a great guy or a great girl in five years. Well, what does that look like in terms of daily rituals? Not like, oh, I'm just magically going to wake up and be making six figures. Like the people that make six figures of their job are methodical, deliberate. They chose the right major or after school, they actually chose who do I have to meet? What skills do I have to acquire? What city do I have to live in? What do I have to sacrifice? Those were deliberate choices. They didn't just happen accidentally. Brutal life truth number three is that your success, holistically, however you want to define that word, has almost nothing to do with all the things out of you, outside, okay, bigger than you. Meaning, your fitness has almost nothing to do with your genetics, your physical body. Your lack of success or your success has almost nothing to do with the economy and all these macroeconomic forces. The fact that your parents may cook bad food and that's a reason why you're having a hard time losing weight and getting fit. So look, you could just as easily blame the fact that you're overweight or unhappy with how you look because you live at home, you're 16, your parents cook. But you could also just as easily learn to cook. You could have a part-time job like I did when I was 16 and you could buy food if you really wanted to. And if that was such an important goal, you could do that. You're not at the mercy of your parents or the treats they keep or the sugar or whatever or the criticism from them for you being the only fit one. 
It could be you blame women. Like, why don't women like me? Look at this Elliot kid that went on a shooting spree. He blamed women because he didn't want to look in the mirror and do the work on himself. You could blame anything outside of you for your lack of success, happiness, fulfillment, whatever. But the people that actually make those things happen, they were done with blame years ago. Done, done, done. That is not going to help you get to where you want to be. So the third brutal life truth is that you can blame all those forces, but if you really want to reach the top, and if you talk to the people that reach the top, you'll find that they overcame all kinds of obstacles, and they didn't blame it on the BS in their life outside of them. They focused on what they had to do and who they had to become. So the fourth brutal life truth is that you are 100% responsible for your life. And I know you probably have heard this before, but it builds off of number three. You can, look, all those external factors may be real reasons, real barriers stopping you from reaching what you want. But, but, it is still up to you and nobody else to reach whatever that goal is. And anything, anything short of that is just another BS story. You know, when I talk to people and they literally believe that not anyone can make a million dollars, not everyone can become a YouTuber, not everyone can become an author, or not everyone can be can attract the kind of partner they want and love that they're just humbled by and awed by. When I hear these things, it makes me sad because I know they're not true. But they're the stories that become that upper limit, that ceiling that people impose on themselves. So yes, you're responsible for your own life. That's scary. That's a tough thing to look at in the mirror. But if you view it as, it's my responsibility, mommy's not gonna do it, the economy's not gonna help me earn more money, some magical introduction's not gonna happen to my dream man or dream woman, and then you realize, it's up to me. And hopefully that should be a good thing. That should have, be a good feeling. It shouldn't feel like this is not something you can do. So instead of thinking about all the limitations, whatever story you're telling yourself about why you can't be a YouTuber, why you can't get the body you want, date the person you want, become a doctor because you're not smart, Rather than focusing on all of these limitations, all this crap, all these stories, why don't you just start focusing on the action that you have to take today? Maybe it means uploading that first video and hey, maybe it sucks. Go look at my old videos. They're pretty crappy. Maybe it means, you know what? I'm 50 pounds for my weight loss goal. Just pick one good decision today. Just don't get the donut. Don't get the muffin. Or have half a sugar instead of twice the amount of sugars you have in your coffee. Make that one decision to, you know what? I want to be smarter because I don't think I'm maybe that smart. Read one book or read one article that's about self-growth. So whatever is standing in your way, those may be real limitations. Like I'm not going to say because you're 100 pounds overweight and no one in your family eats well. You don't know anyone that's fit. That's not a limitation. It is. It's a barrier and it's going to become a story that prevents you from reaching the goal you want. But the thing is, you are 100% responsible for improving your life and reaching all these goals but you're also 100% capable. You, like, I don't believe anyone can really achieve anything, but I think almost anyone can have whatever amount of money they want doing what they love. I believe almost anyone can improve themselves to a point where they're happy, they're fulfilled, they feel like their life has purpose and meaning, and they're dating or married to someone that they really are like, damn, I did good. I don't, I don't necessarily feel good enough for him or her, but I believe almost anyone can reach all those things through personal development. So when it comes time to growing yourself, as soon as you can accept these brutal life truths and get on with your life and look at yourself in the mirror, the better your life's gonna get. All right guys, so I hope this video helps. Remember the best way to stay in touch is to grab my free seven day personal development and weight loss challenge at modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. And you can check out my last two equally fiery videos right here and right here.